franchise high school. Now you mentioned that it, it's hard to do it, right? But you're going into keeping the laws, right? Because some things that the law teaches is contrary to what we what we want to do. For example, a man may want to sleep with multiple women. God says marriage is honorable and all. You understand what I'm saying? A man may want to smoke weed. God says be sober. You may like you may like drinking. You may be a drunkard. God says be sober. So on and so forth. So what you're saying is our worldly flesh, right? Sometimes overtakes what God's word says. Now, as he was going into you, I'm gonna show you what God says about that. I'm gonna show you, is that what we say or is that what God says? You understand? Right. Listen good. The book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 3. Uh -huh. For this is the love of God. For what? For this is the love of God. You wanna you wanna go down as a man that, that, that can testify that you love God? Right. Okay, read. That we keep his commandments. That what? That we keep his commandments. So if you love God, you have to confess. And you have to do, and you have to keep his commandments. You understand that? So if we're not keeping his commandments, we don't really love God. Read. And his commandments are not grievous. And what? His commandments are not grievous. Grievous. So, do you know that what, what, what that word grievous means? Okay. Right. It means it's not hard. Right. So God is saying keeping his commandments is not hard. But what happened is... Since we've been over here in America, we've learned the ways of our oppressor. You understand that? We learned to what? Eat pork. We learned to profane the Sabbath. We learned to date women outside of our race. So on and so forth. But now we have to be born again inside of the scripture. You ever heard of baptism before? You been baptized? Now, when you were baptized, what happened? Did you change? I mean, I thought I did. Right? To be honest, which I thought I did. Okay, good. What I mean, changed? My mindset for the for the my mindset changed at the moment. Right, okay, at the moment, right? At the moment, at the moment it changed. Huh? But what did they give you outside of just that water? Did they give you any instructions? Uh -huh. So let me ask you this. Did the water baptism do anything? Or was it or was it a mental thing for you mostly? Yeah. No, it was mental. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna show you. Water baptism has no uh effect on you receiving salvation. Right. right. The only thing that will help you receive salvation is like you said, it's the mental part. Right. It's that battle of whether to sin or to remain in righteousness. Give me Ephesians 5 and 26. I'm going to show you. Exactly what you said is what the Bible says. You understand? Listen good to the scripture. The book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 26. Uh -huh. That he might sanctify. That he might what? Sanctify. Meaning to separate, to cleanse. He's going to sanctify you. Meaning he's going to set you apart from everybody else. Because what baptism is symbolic of is you becoming a new man or a new woman, a new creature, right? right. But what they do is they dip you in the water and they don't give you any instructions to how to become a new creature. Right. You understand what I'm saying? You just get dipped in the water and you understand what the symbolic part of it is, but they don't give you any instructions of what to walk in afterwards. Read. With the washing of the water by the word. Start it from the top and read it again. I don't want, I don't want to lose the point. That he might sanctify uh -huh. and cleanse it uh -huh. with the washing of the water by the word. With the what? Washing of the water by the word. The water that we are to be washed with and baptized with is what? Say that again. The water. The water is symbolic of what? What did the scriptures just say was symbolic of? Word. The word, right? So John 15 and 3. So when you were baptized, you were supposed to be baptized with the scriptures. You right. understand what I'm saying? Right. So guess what? When you were to come up out of that water, which doesn't happen, you were supposed to magically understand, thou shalt not kill, right. thou shalt not steal, thou out. shalt keep the Sabbath day holy. Right. So on and so forth. You were supposed to understand that. That's why the water baptism doesn't hold any weight, because right. there's no laws or commandments that are given when you do that. Right. I, 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 I thought that, I thought, yeah. Um, before, I put, before I was put in the war. Right. 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 To the degree of the nature that me going underwater was the, was the, was the cleanse me from all those things that I have done before. Right. You know what I mean? To, 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 for me to for me to come up out of that water is for me to be enlightened and to be uh, with, 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 the, with the mental aspect of, of being able to, 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 to do what is right. Right. But that's the thing. You 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 were on the right path. You were on the right path because that's what they taught you. But like I said, 
Water baptism, they don't teach you the laws of God. Right. Christianity does never teach you the laws of God. You wanted to do right. right. Your heart was in the right place, but you didn't have the proper instruction. Right. Right. For example, let's say you feel feeling sick, and it's your heart. But the doctor said, yeah, it's your foot. So you go and you get, they, they, they fix up your foot, but you're like, hey, my foot feel better, but something's still wrong. You understand what I'm saying? You was like, you admitted, you knew that you were doing something wrong, but you didn't quite know what it was. You understand? That was your conscience, which is what? The Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit will guide you in all ways. It says that it walk with you in crooked ways. But it's also the laws of God. You understood on some level for you, like the way I'm living ain't right. But you didn't know what it wasn't right according to. For example, you know how I know that? What is sin? Doing something wrong. Right, doing something wrong, but what? Is it, is it, is it, is something it, against God. Okay, something against God's what? God's will, His word. His word. His there you go, there you go, you hit it on the head. Right. Now, in order for you to sin, you will have to know what? The commandments. The commandments of God. Right. Do they teach you God's laws in Christianity? The Ten, the Ten Commandments? The Ten Commandments, right? They teach you those? I mean, it's in the Bible. No, I get I, I, I know it's in the Bible. The it's Bible ain't never been. It's in the Bible, I mean. It, I, from my from 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 what from my upbringing, right? Ten Commandments, it, 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 it dies, it, it, it break it down, right. and it's up to the individual self, right? You know what I mean to to find him or her understanding. It. Give me Jeremiah three and fifteen and Malachi four. I mean not Malachi four, Malachi two. Now you say you, it is up to the individual, but you know the men that God set up in these churches, they have a job to do. You knew that, right? Now you said the Ten Commandments. Now what day does mainstream Christianity go to church on? Sunday. Now you just read in Exodus 20 and 8, the Sabbath day is on what? Saturday. So how does that line up? It doesn't. It doesn't. So what, what, so what we both agree on is that Christianity is okay. teaching our people lies. Would right. you agree? Right. right. Okay. Right. So now, understand, what we're teaching, we're teaching that we're the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. Jesus Christ is a black man. Right. And we must repent of our sins, which is the breaking of God's laws. Believe on Christ, keep his commandments, and we will be delivered out of our captivity. You right. 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 That's what we teach. Now, we get a lot of pushback when we teach this because a lot of our people have fell in love with the lies that is being pushed in Christianity. Right. Right. Now, I see you coming with a different spirit. You're able to see clearly. You're like, okay, I can see I can see a lot of what y'all teach. Right. Right. But what you have to do and what you have to come, the level you have to come to is you got to come to the understanding that we are the nation of Israel, and we not only do we have to do God's laws, we have to teach God's laws. Right. Right. God is talking to you, guess what? You're supposed to be on this side teaching your people. That's why we come out here and teach. We coming out here to raise up 144,000 men. That's because right. you ask the question of how long are we going to remain in this condition, right? How long are we going to be in the ghettos and slums across America? Until 144,000 men are sealed with the laws of God, not just the 10, but all 613 of the commandments, we're going to remain in a servitude state here in America. Right. You understand that? So that's why we teach. What would I have you hold? Jeremiah to read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 3 and verse 15. Uh -huh. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart. So, God says that he will give us pastors according to his heart. Read. Which shall feed you with knowledge. Which shall what? Feed you with knowledge. So the job of the pastors is okay. to feed the nation of Israel with knowledge. You right. understand that? Right, right. Now, what is the knowledge we're supposed to feed the nation with? The Ten? You still on the Ten Commandments? I mean, I mean, how many commandments? Okay, now let me just ask you this. I'll just bring 10, out one. 12? We went over this last week. Is rape, is rape within the Ten Commandments? Rape? Rape. Can I rape somebody? Nah. Nah. Uh -huh. Why not? It ain't in the Ten Commandments. Because it's wrong. According to what? To the law or the land. Okay, you got a point there. But when we... And, leave, it, and it, it's more, it's not morally right. I, I, I agree. But if we say we only got to teach the Ten Commandments, then we can't say somebody can't rape. You understand what I'm but saying? It, but, but we actually can because if it say thou shalt not kill, uh -huh. rape, it, rape is to kill somebody. You you killing them anyway. You, you know what I mean? You absolutely so, correct. So, so we can preach that, but it, it has give to be that. broken down to what wrong. they understand. Now you're absolutely correct. What you said is 100% correct. The Bible actually says the exact words that you said. But what I'm trying to get you to see, see is, with what you understood that that was a precept to thou shalt not kill, right? right. Which yes. was rape. You understand that? Yes, sir. Now, guess what? Inside of uh, love, love, love the Lord God with all your heart, with all your soul, there's other commandments. 
For example, like fringes. I'm gonna go to that one too, but I'm gonna yes. read what you just said. Hold on, I'm gonna let you take your phone. All right, so you mentioned the Ten Commandments, right? We, we, we both agreed that rape wasn't in there to the, to the, to the, to the unspiritual eye. Right. But what I'm showing you is there's more than Ten Commandments, and you said, well, it falls under thou shalt not kill because it's just like killing somebody when you rape because you kill their spirit. Right. Watch this, read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 25. Uh -huh. But if a man find a betrothed damsel in the field, uh -huh. and the man force her. And the what? And the man force her. If a man forces his rod inside of a woman, what is that? That's rape, read. And lie with her. Uh -huh. Then the man only that lay with her shall die. He shall what? Shall die. Read. But unto the damsel thou shalt do nothing. So the judgment was death if you were to rape somebody right. in this time period, right? Right, right? Because now we can't kill because we're in captivity. Right. If we kill somebody now, that's death. Right. Read. There is in the damsel no sin worthy of death. Because she didn't she, she didn't do anything. Read. For as when a man riseth against his neighbor. For as when a man riseth against his neighbor. Right. And slayeth him. And what? And slayeth him. Read. Even so is this matter. What? Even so is this matter. Even so is this matter. Meaning the same way you kill a man. It's the same judgment as if you rape someone. Bring it out. Showing you what? That there are commandments outside of what? Ten. Outside of the ten. Bring it out. You understand I mean, that? I'm, 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 I'm Numbers in full 15 and 30. Okay. With that. But but it's not just rape. There's a lot of other ones. So that's because why that's, I feel like that's just like you give a man 25 years for selling crack cocaine. Right. Then you give a man probation for uh, child molestation. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm I'm I, I'm in agreement okay. with that. I'm so fully. Now now I'm gonna show you another commandment that we gotta keep. You understand? Listen good. The book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Uh -huh. no. Speak unto the children of Israel. Do what? Speak unto the children of Israel. Read. And bid them uh -huh. that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments uh -huh. throughout their generation. Uh -huh. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So another commandment that he gave us was to put fringes upon the borders of our garments right. and put a ribbon of blue upon it. Now what commandment would that fall under? That would fall under love the Lord God with all your heart, with all your soul. Why? Because this is a commandment that you get what I'm saying. Now you fall alone. Now when you read all throughout the oh I give you another one. Can we eat pork? We ain't supposed to. Right. Why not? Because it says it's unclean and it's unclean. There you go, you see that? But that ain't even the commandment. I can show you a lot of big commandments. And you'd be like, hey, I ain't know that was in there, but you kind of knew that it was morally wrong because your spirit bears witness with the scripture. You understand? Wow. showing you is Christianity is false and it's far away from what we should be doing. But at the same time, we have to show our people the laws of God and we have to keep the laws of God. As long as we remain in sin, we're going to stay in the condition that we're in. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Now, do you understand your Israelite yet? Do you truly understand that? I, mean, I, I, I identify with it. Okay. So I identify with I'm it. I'm going to ask you again. So what's your nationality? You know, not, not from what I've been taught. Yeah, yeah look, man. Judah, Judah, American, American flag. flag. Right, so you're from the tribe of Judah, right? You're so-called African-American? I felt like that. Right, so you come from the tribe of Judah. Judah. Yes, yes, right. right. Now, I'm going to ask you another question. You got some understanding, so you knew that. So you, what you're struggling with is, is the personal things that you deal with that you know are contrary to the scriptures. See, my, 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 my struggle is like, okay, brother, Right. A lot of people run, a lot of people will run from it. Right. They, you know, they, they tend to run from that because it's a fear factor. Right, right, right. See, I mean, it's a fear factor. You know, a lot of people, Chris, Christianity allow you to pretty much do as you There you go, you there you go. They don't, and there's no change. Right. There's and no it, change. Pretty much the, the discipline is not there. There you go. And a lot, a lot of brothers don't, a lot of brothers don't want to accept the discipline. You know Absolutely. what I mean? It's like especially coming from another brother. Right. You know what I mean? And not knowing that, like you say, discipline and line yourself up is where the unity comes in. There you go. You know there what I'm saying? So I, I understand that. That's it. But that's just like when I was incarcerated. Uh-huh. A lot of brothers ran to certain religions out of fear. You know what I mean? Because it's like, 
okay, I'm, I'm already incarcerated. Right. We already know Israelites are bad dudes. Right. So they, they run that way. Yeah. Muslims, same thing, they run that right, way. Right, right. Christianity, you know, people run how right. they run. You right, feel right, me? Right. So it's like, I mean, I, I get it. I, I did. You feel me? Okay. Um, like you said, it's a struggle that I have within myself. Okay. You know what so I mean? So I'm going to build with you on that. Whatever it is that you're dealing with, we're going to get to it. We're going to get to the bottom of it. Because ultimately, I want you to receive the kingdom. You understand that? Because give me uh, Romans 2 and 13 first. I won't do it way. Because at the end of the day, all of us are going to be judged. How you doing, brother? What's your name, bro? Chris. 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 Billy Chris. What's your understanding on, 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 on your nationality and who you are? You know any, anything about this? No. Kind of thing. <laughs> you said you said what? All kind of. You thing. know all kind of things. I say it's all kind of things. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. I'm gonna you build with we, you. You say we black. Right. You say we African American. Right. All kind of. Yeah. Okay. What, what 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 are we? What are so-called African Americans? I want you to tell us. What are we according to the Bible? Uh, I don't know. I'm telling you so much. Man. Stop. <laughs> You gave him a lot of, you gave him a lot. Okay. We're going to start with Shepard. What nation do we come from? Jew. No, that's Israel. the tribe. Oh, uh, The nation of Israel. That's right. right. We come from the nation of Israel. How you doing, brother? I see you over there smiling. You know, you understand you're Israelite? Come on, Bill. Let me holler at you, bro. Can we, we going to get a chop? All right, when you come out, come holler at us, man. So we come from the nation of Israel, and particularly from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Now, what we're going over right now with this brother is how to overcome our personal struggles. You understand? Because a lot of us, we read the Bible, we know some things that we do are not in line with the scriptures, but we need some encouragement of how to how to finish what we started. You understand? Uh, and I'm going to give him a few solutions. So read that one first. The book of Romans, chapter 2 and verse 13. Yeah. For not the hearers of the law are just before God, uh -huh. but the doers of the law shall be justified. You see that? Yeah. So you have to do the commandments to be justified when Christ returns. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.